fry food and they all catch cancer and drop dead. Right, 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 right. But then one, of the, one of the things that was shocking, KFC used to have a hand in it. They do chickens with oh. no head, and it's just a tube. Did you know about that? Yeah, they that's, don't have feathers that's either. The evils, yeah, that's that's chicken the never touch the ground. It's in a, it's in a tube ball yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's just pure wickedness. Head, that's crazy. You don't peck, you don't have, you know, the They peck. feed it through a syringe. Mm -hmm. That's just pure, exactly. that's just wickedness. Now, when did the most yeah, Well, they take, take the anything. syringe and put it I in the tube. How did they have to change it like that? He never made no mistakes, but that's the super rich. You think they got That's the super rich. They, 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 they want to be the most. You know, they, I mean, they, they want to make you sick, they and they want to make a large profit by making you sick. You know, and their large profits come through these hospitals. And you know, this crazy I'm, I'm going to hit you with something else, too. Uh, Harvard University just came out with a study, right? And they said it's now a scientific fact that fluoridated water and fluoridated toothpaste causes brain damage. Or it causes brain damage and it causes mental retardation and it causes your IQ to drop That's substantially. Right. That's right. It's a fact. So so the elite of the world, they're eugenicists. You know what eugenicists are? Like yeah. the Nazis. Population uh, control. Yeah. Exactly. Nazi, Hitler was heavy into it. Right. Oh yes, yes, yes. But all the Nazis just came over to America. Mm -hmm. So America is no different. America's no different from Nazi Germany. And hit and Hitler was also fascinated yeah. with twins. He used to do a lot of stuff with twin work. Yeah, that was twin right children. Right yeah, that's yeah they, he was deep into uh, witchcraft. Yeah, he, he was. Uh, he was double his troops, though, wasn't he? Trying to create a super soldier. That's where they got Captain America from. You know, that was ideas from super soldiers and shit. Well, bless you soldier. all. All right, keep, bro. keep up, keep right, it going. Bro. We sure will to the end. It is clear. It's, it's close. It's close. Yeah, the Lord. Yeah, the Lord ain't fucking around you. These people can think he is. That's fine with me. Hey, you left like here to go sit on the it's bench. There's like a fucking billion hoes out here. <laughs> it's freshman move-in day. All it is, ain't it? It's, mm -hmm. I bet y'all, yeah. Oh, it's fucking all August. Is, we always start the freshman day off right for the freshman. Well, don't we? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we give them something to think about at the OSU campus. God damn, that smells like some crazy yeah, They crime. blazing some shit. What the yeah. fuck is that? Woo. Man, y'all got some weed. Man, where are they coming from? It's passed by. It's gone now. <laughs> I, people don't know what that smells like. <laughs> Everybody knows that smell. <laughs> I guess, I mean, it looks like Ain't nobody watching these videos anyway. Yeah, this is going to get deleted anyway. It's going to get deleted by next week. <laughs> Especially, I did it. we come out with so much fire today. You know this shit's getting deleted. Too Probably much fire. Yeah, we never touched up on the you with a little bit. Oh, we got it. Let's get him before we go. Yeah. Let's get him. <laughs> Let's get him. Yeah, oh, even your boy Alex Jones, he's getting afraid. He's talking shit about Jews now. Now all of a sudden he want to talk about the Jews now that they're fucking with him. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh, now all of a sudden now we got to talk about the Jews. Here you go, Revelation two and nine. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Hey, you know, the Bible said we're rich because we got this word. Uh, if you have this Bible, you are rich. You're a wealthy person. Money does not make you rich. Gold does not make you rich. The only thing that makes you rich is Yahweh Shah. The Bible, not Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad don't. Muhammad makes you die, not rich. I know thy like works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. I wonder who that's talking about. But are the synagogue of Satan himself. So the Bible actually, the Bible says that the so-called Jews living in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews. They're the devils. They're the real cocksuckers, the faggots. Mm -hmm. Even. Revelations 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet. Yeah, so those so-called Jews in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews, and they're going straight into slavery under us, the real Israelites. <laughs> if you know that I have loved thee. So the most I love you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, you Skyrim. Now we gonna prophesy right now because the land of Israel is about to get destroyed. Okay. They, they said it, they gonna attack Iran by October. And when they do that, Iran's gonna fuck them up. They gonna get destroyed. It's gonna get busy down long. here, bro. They gonna get destroyed. This one get busy, that's all I Just like everybody, when 9-11 happened, everybody's in fear for their life. A, a greater fear is coming than that, man. And 9-11 was just a low. That wasn't even, that was weak. And 
everybody want to go out and get the scriptures in the Bible, man. That's what pissed me off, man. Right, just like the scripture we read, let me get it again. Oh, you know, yeah. When, when, when shit pops on them, that's when they're, you know, and, and All right. it's, it's amazing. Now give me some scriptures, man. <laughs> yeah, right. Shit. And then they go, and then, and then people. Oh, revelation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time someone read the Bible, they go straight to Revelation. Like, uh, I'm going to break this revelation down. <laughs> oh, this means that, uh. <laughs> This means that uh, George Bush and uh, what's that right, shit called? Right the here. Bible, the Bible, co the code or something? Yeah, the Bible they, code. Yeah, they like they, they say. Uh, That's some Jews that do that. Yeah. This they, is wisdom of Sodom, eleven and thirteen. Uh, for, I'm starting at twelve, eleven and twelve. For the double grief came upon them, and a groaning for the remembrance of things past. For when they heard by their own punishments the others to be benefited, they had some feeling of the Lord. They have some feeling of the Lord. Some feeling of the Lord. Some. Yeah, what up? For whom they rejected with scorn. When he was long before thrown out at the casting forth of the infants, him in the end, when they saw what came to pass, they admired. <laughs> Just like an Israelite. It makes the shit happen. You know? But well, that's good though, because like the scripture says, yeah, when the Lord returned, yeah, get a rep with the first chapter. You talking about when oh, every no, I was just talking oh about yeah, Rep. Oh, yeah, Esau. Yeah, it said every eye shall see him. Oh, that's the first chapter. Yeah. So yeah, so that, that proves reincarnation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. It proves it with help. Yeah, people try to say they some wrong they, force. They try to call me a Buddhist Israelite because I believe <laughs> in reincarnation. <laughs> right? This reincarnation is all through the Bible. Yeah. yeah. One and seven. Oh. Revelation one and seven. Behold, he cometh quickly. Behold, he cometh with clouds. With clouds? Hey, that means the Lord's coming back in a so-called UFO. Y'all know what a UFO is? It's a fact that exists. You can't deny it. There's so much proof now. That's right. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. Who pierced the Lord? The Romans pierced him. So how the hell is he going to get the Romans? If the Roman Empire passed away 2,000 years ago, well, something like that. Right. Well, that's because the Romans is in America. Rome is America. America is the reincarnation of the Roman Empire. In the Bible, America is known as that great red dragon. The old, the old devil, that serpent and Satan. And all kindreds of the earth shall well oh. because of him. Now, while we in Revelation, let's get the... Uh, I know you sit where Satan's seated. I got it right here. He did. Uh, Revelations 2 and 13. I know thy works and where thou dwellest. So the Lord knows where we live. Keep going. Even where Satan's seat is. So the Bible says America is where Satan's seat is. Because y'all y'all, y'all people in America, you ain't doing what the Lord said to do. You're not following the laws of the Bible. Like I said, most people don't even know the Ten Commandments. They never even heard of them. The children being born now don't even know who Moses is. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. And thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days wherein Antipius was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. So Satan, that's talking about the Roman Empire. The modern day Roman Empire is America. America was formed as a republic just like ancient Rome was formed on a republic. Where do you think America got the idea of a republic from? From Rome. That's why Washington DC's buildings are Roman architecture. Because America is the reincarnation of Rome. America, yeah, it's the old serpent, that devil and Satan. We got your Rollies. That was like the uh you like the, well yeah. Same same, yeah. same, pr same principle. Yeah. That's why we always fucked up, man, because yeah, this is abomination. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Oh yeah, so most people in America, they got the doctrine of the damn Satan, man. Teaching all kind of bullshit and all kind of madness. Right. Now people will believe 2012 and the Anunnaki, they'll believe all that shit before the Bible. Talking about you can uh, unlock your uh, spiritual power. They will believe any lie but the Bible. The Bible is the only thing they will not believe. Right. Well, I'm not in the night. Probably not. You start teaching hate. That's when they stop believing. 
Yeah. They see slime, they dance. Yeah. Hey, you got to eat it right on up. Who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication? Yeah, there's all kind of fornication going on in America. Ain't no doubt about that. Hey, this is a man. This place is it's a fucked up place to live, man. Right. It's a fucked up place to raise your kids, man. Like I said, most kids don't even know who Moses is. Never heard of him. Like, who's that? Like Johnny Depp said he wouldn't even have his kid go to American a public uh, uh, American school. Fuck, I don't blame him. Shit, <laughs> I don't want my kids to go to American school because the school system not designed to teach you shit. The school system designed to keep you stupid. You be the white man's Because I mean, most people are stupid. I ain't seen too many smart people walk by here today. Not actually, I haven't seen not one. A bunch of dummies who don't know shit. the Nicolaitans, which thee I hate. Yeah. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So that's what we're doing right now. The Lord's using us as his mouthpiece right now. You know what I'm saying? And right now, we're just going to hit y'all with scriptures. But soon when the Lord comes, he's just going to bring fire. And it's just going to be death. That's what we leaving the Bible, man. So what tribe are you from? <laughs> oh, I said, what tribe you from? Read the Bible. What tribe you from in the Israelite? Oh, uh, you, are you an Israelite? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm from Jesus. I believe what Jesus believes. You believe what Jesus believes? Yeah. What did Jesus believe? Are you born again? I didn't ask that. I asked you a question. You, you know, don't I answer believe, a question with a question. You, I believe that Jesus died on the cross. I didn't ask you that. I didn't. That's not what I asked. That's good though. You the mind to call that? So, because does, does God love? I love guess the dude from that movie uh, we was watching last night. <laughs> oh yeah, the Robin Hood. <laughs> He's that French guy, the traitor. Yeah, the French traitor. I so, have a question. I right, go ahead. Come on, man. You see as well? You want the Bible in our hand? Yeah. So what you asking? So what are you going to die with? That's a dumb question. That's what are you going to do? We're out here preaching. We're out here preaching the Bible. When you are asked that we believe that Jesus died. That doesn't make no sense. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go if you die? Uh, wait, wait, everybody goes. Everybody dies. They go to the same place. There's no, there's no such thing as hell. So that's mythology. Oh, this is, I'm going to get the scripture. Hey, this is hell. Can I show you something? This no, is hell. No. This world, this, this hell. present world is hell to the Israelites. There's no hell, hell in the Bible. Where's hell? Show me in the Bible where there's hell. King David said he slept in hell. What was that scripture he said? Let me ask you a question. The, what is the word? What language is the word hell? What language is that? It's an Anglo-Saxon word. Was the Bible written in that Anglo-Saxon? No. It was written in Greek and Hebrew. Yeah. Now, what's the original Greek word for the word hell? <laughs> it's Gehenna. Do you know what Gehenna is? It's an actual place on earth. It's known as the Valley of the Sun in Hinnom, and it's where people used to sacrifice to devils, and they used to sacrifice children. That's where they burn trash and dead animals. So Gehenna is an actual place on earth. Hell is a metaphor for destruction. There's no such thing as a mythological fiery underworld. That's Greek mythology. You're gonna burn forever, but Jesus come to save everybody. What? Uh, I gotta How does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Oh, go ahead. This is what happens when you die. And the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So the Bible didn't say when you die you go to hell. It said your spirit returns to the Father. And that goes with everybody, no matter how good or how evil you were. The good, right, right, right. The good and the evil die the same. Are, are not all people born the same way? Yeah. We all come out of our mama's womb, yes. and then when we die, we go back to the father. When yes. we're born, we come out of our mother. When we die, we go to the polluted, the adulterous country. Oh yeah, they, that, that's a traumatic experience. Is coming out that nasty ass coochie. <laughs> that's why babies come out screaming like ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's no, we're right. We are right. Come back. in the world getting smacked immediately. Okay, that's not how it used to be. But babies used to be born smiling. 
That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Women used to not even have pain in childbirth. They used to just spit them out. Yep. It didn't even hurt a woman to have a baby. But that's part of those curses. You know what I'm saying? Especially because y'all women wicked as hell, man. Y'all yeah. women need to get your shit. It ain't gonna happen. The they Lord just gonna destroy you. Ain't gonna get that shit. I apologize because I try to act like they could correct. They're not gonna correct anything. Yeah, I apologize for acting like there was a bit of hope for a hoe. It's too much. It's too much. Uh, Talk power. about our queen. It's like right putting a, a big old engine. A little ass car, it just ain't gonna, it ain't gonna uh, be right, man. I see, yeah, it's like putting a, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like putting a V8 in a Chevette. Right. Fucking <laughs> women, man, they can't handle it, man. What's a, what's a little breakdown about friends? We got, I don't know. We're talking shit about women. I got some women scriptures. We can hit a good old Proverbs. Are you women? Y'all wanna hear what the Bible says about you? Y'all stuff been studying y'all's proverbs? Y'all been Christian women? Are you uh women? Let's hear what the Bible has to say. Y'all gotta study y'all proverbs. That's why y'all not, not not doing the right thing. Because you ain't read your Bible. Well, the black woman ain't trying to do that. Hell no. Hell no. That's why the Bible says, Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Uh, this is what we worship right here. There you are, you're back there. Oh, he's back there. What are you doing, man? You're part of these people, right? Yeah. Oh, you're part of these people, right? Hey, man. I want to talk to you. But why me? Man, he's attracted to you. You a homosexual? No. You're out here talking about God, so I want to talk to you. Let's see what you got. Let's go from. Show him what you got. Yeah, man. Where do you work? Do you worship anywhere on Sunday? You only got a backstage pass. I don't worship the sun. What's the sun to you? That's Sunday worship. That's when people go to worship on Sunday. That's their That's worship the sun. Worship. The sun. That's Sunday. You go to church on Sunday. That means you worship Soul Invictus. What does the word Sunday mean? It Sunday means the day. day of worship. No, it's the day of the sun. Now, what does Monday mean? The day of the moon. The day that you worship. No, no, no. Sunday is the day of the sun. It's the worshiping of Soul Invictus. You know what Soul Invictus is? The undefeated sun. The Romans worshiped it. They worship them on Sunday. The, 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 the Bible uses a lunar calendar. It does not use a solar calendar. The solar calendar is wrong. Well, on the seventh day, what is uh, it called? The rest, right? The what, seventh what? day, you're supposed to rest. What's the seventh day? What's the seventh day? It's, uh, um, no, it's Saturday. Saturday. No, there's no Saturday, though. Yeah, there is there's no, no, there's no there's such no thing as Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, there's no, Wednesday, it doesn't Friday. exist. That's why you don't ever see those days mentioned yeah, in the Bible. Yeah, today was Saturday. No, that doesn't exist. There's no Saturday in the Bible. That, that doesn't exist. It's day God one. It's not in the Bible. That's Esau. It's in seven days. It didn't say it, it, the God created the earth uh, from Sunday to Saturday. But the earth made it seven, you know, where But is people. the, uh, let me ask you a question. Is the word Sunday in the Bible? No. Of course not. So why would you celebrate on Sunday? That doesn't make sense. Why would you worship on Sunday? Supposed to follow the moon. The Bible uses a lunar calendar. The Sabbath lunar moon. is on the new moon. Oh, we just did that because we used to worship God on Saturday, but we just no, no. There's no such thing as Saturday. That's something. That's something the white man made up. Okay? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, you're right. The Bible doesn't use. <laughs> where did this guy come from? Yeah, where'd you come from, man? You know what? I'm gonna be back. <laughs> well, we're, we're not gonna be here, thank God, because we don't want to talk to you again. You're insane. I got scripture one of We're totally you're not. You're not down with the Joker, are you? Uh, I'm letting you know Jesus is here to save the law. But who's Jesus? So you it's worship Zeus? Jesus? I, wor I, I do worship Jesus. Jesus means Zeus. If you just listen to me. That's not Jesus' name. Zeus is not. If you just listen to me. Not Jesus, we're not here to listen to you. Jesus is not the Lord's name. Am I the first person that stepped up and said something, guys? No, oh, no, of course not. We talk to all kinds of people. All right, we talk to uh, the highest state. Yeah, but we're the speakers, you not you. You worship the devil. You do work. No, you worship the devil. You know the Bible. Hey, give me a Second Corinthians ten and four. Give me Second Corinthians ten and four. Because you worship the other. You know the Bible speaks of two Jesuses. You, you, you follow that other Jesus. I don't follow the one up here. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you, you follow the one. Uh... Go ahead. For the weapons. You worship Zeus. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons that I will for are not carnal. Oh, no, no. 10 and 4, my fault. 10 and 4. Is that 2 Corinthians? 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Oh, oh my fault. 11 and 4. 11 and 4, my fault. Off by one chapter. My memory, I ain't hit this one in a long time. Yeah. 
For okay. if he that, this is 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh oh. preacheth another Jesus. You come out talking about another Jesus. Well, first of all, Jesus ain't really Jesus' name. The Lord's name is Yahweh Shah. That's ancient Hebrew. Okay, Jesus, Jesus is a made up word. It means Zeus. Actually, Jesus, Jesus was a black slave shit they bought niggas over here on. God damn, was it? Yeah. This shit, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. See, so you, was probably, you probably descend from slave owners, don't you? You, but do you descend from slave owners? Your family? You don't. You don't have any slave blood on your hands. What's your nationality? You dance on. I don't know. You know what Caucasian means? Yeah. What? I don't know. Caucasian. <laughs> means just say yeah, yeah. Caucasian. I don't know. Caucasian. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. means cave dwelling. Yeah. Now these people didn't dwell in caves. Okay. Okay. The Edomites did. Edomites dwell in caves. You know where Mount Seir is? Right. Do we have that near? I don't know. That's not it. That's not it. You know, I, I don't know where it's at. But you don't remember? Look back, try to remember your past life real quick. Like, Sears, Sears. Sear. You seen Indiana Jones? You ever had, yeah, I seen that. The, where they had the Holy Grail and the, what was the last crusade? Yeah, it's in Petra, Jordan. You know where Petra, Jordan is? That was Mount Sear. Oh. That's, where they, that's where your old family comes from. Let me read from. this, bro. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached. So we ain't preaching the Jesus you're preaching. You're preaching some other Jesus. Or if ye receive another spirit which ye Are have not received, about? so you got spirits on you, you got demons on you. Or another gospel, <laughs> you do have which demons ye on you. have not accepted, ye might well bear with them. So, so you, if we you, call you Esau, can we nickname you that Esau? So you got demons on you, man. So Are you preaching about the one who died on the cross two thousand? We just, years we ago? just, what, 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 what book did you just read? <laughs> what, is that in the New Testament? That's in New the Testament. Bible, Corinthians. Yeah. So what's the Bible about? So what the hell do you think we're teaching? Okay, I'm just wondering. You're confused. What color was Christ? That's what I want to ask. What color was Christ? He was a black or white. Was, he, was he invisible? No. Was he purple? Was yeah, he a was smurf? Yeah. You ever watch Twilight Zone? Yeah. He well, said, yeah, much, quick. It's a trick. You know, Edomites, this, this is pretty much you're going to witness going to be like similar to the Twilight Zone because your whole future is about to change. So what are you guys doing? Your, your whole reality. We we teaching the We're doing the work. What's the What's the Lord's name? The gospel. What's God? What's the Son of God's name? You're wrong. That's not God's name. That's Greek. What nationality was he? What nationality was he? He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, and he only came for the Israelites. Right now, the name Jesus is Greek. Now, it's actually, it's not even Greek. It's a bastardization of, Greek. of the Greek. Right, that's right. That's right. So it's really, it's like a cross between English and Greek, and it's twisted. It just means Zeus. So if I call you Bob, your name's not Bob, right? right. If I'm calling Bob, Bob, are you going to respond? Now, when you're calling Jesus, when you're praying to this Jesus, he's not hearing you because his name is not Jesus. Where's your right back? He's totally hey, not Levi was Matthew. Huh? Levi was Matthew. Huh? Levi was Matthew. This guy right here. That's a tribe. Okay, okay, never mind, Robert. That's a tribe. The tribe of Levi. These are the 12 the tribes priests. of Israel. These are, these are who the Lord's coming for. These 12 tribes. And this is who they are. This is what they're called. Where am I? Where are we are at? Where are me and you at? Me and you. Yeah, you ain't on there. The Lord's coming to Esau, you're but, not on there, bud. But you're not even an Israelite. You're an Edomite. You're an Edomite. Biblical well, Edomite. I don't know everything through the, the Spirit. coming from him. You know everything through the Spirit. See, so you're an Edomite. Go home and read the you're book of Obadiah. If you, if you was an Israelite, you know what? The your, Lord, fu your future is slavery. If you was actually an Israelite, the Lord really played a joke on us. <laughs> get, 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 13. get 13. Revelation 13. This oh, is a very important that? scripture that you must understand. Yeah, because if you're an Israelite, then I got some learning to do. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go study again. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Listen, this is what you mean. This is what you mean right Revelation 13 and 9. That's right. The scriptures say, cry aloud, spare not. That's right. If <laughs> any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth to captivity, he that leadeth into captivity, shall go into captivity. How did we get here in America? The so-called these three tribes right here. How did we get here in America? Who brought us here? Who? Right, who brought us here? But no, who, slaves didn't bring slaves here. Who, who, who brought the slaves here? Who brought them here? 
Who my bad, them here? Because he is dumb as hell. Hey, people, there was a whole nation of people that brought here. You never know, man. That's why I said the, the Lord could just be playing a joke on us. White folks. Who you would call Paul Fisher? You already know who this is right here. They brought these people here into slavery. Now the scripture says Obama the the scripture says homosexual. He's a big old faggot. What are you talking about? Obama's a faggot. Obama's a communist. I know. He's a goddamn devil. You, know, you, you like Obama? You vote for Obama? Who you vote for? I don't know. I'm looking at the air right now. You, you still working on it? It's not Obama. It don't matter. Obama got this shit on lock. Yo, you, like you got a whole lot of choices. Anybody but that nigga. It's either Romney or Obama. You know, he's, not people, right? <laughs> he's not a Negro like I'm a Negro. You know, I'm a Negro. All right. I'm an Israelite, but I'm a... Yeah. You know, but he, look, he knows I'm a nigga. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, the thing is, he knows I'm an Israelite. He knows I'm an Israelite. He, he's not in the dark, you know. Well, yeah, so what do you think Obama's a Hamite. Is? He's a Hamite. He's, he's actually he's a real African American. He's a real African American. <laughs> Obama. Obama. You guys have a good night. All right, bro. all right, honky. See you later, Esau. <laughs> That guy was nuts, man. He was insane. Hey, he's like, like oh, if he was actually an Israelite, which I highly doubt, right, you know, right, right. Lord forgive me, but either way, he's retarded. Because Edomites do say that. They yeah, don't they, believe it. They don't really believe it, but they do say it. They're just it. trying to see what we're going to say. But that guy, either way, he's retarded. It's just their ways of fitting in society because they know what's coming. Your spirit is What's up, great Americans? Y'all look like y'all in a good mood, like nice and happy. So happy for it. Yeah. Yeah. smiling. Why should it Why should Was it freshman uh, move-in day or something? The scriptures talk about that. The country is almost come from a rich family. Yeah, What's going on? The country of America is in chaos. How so? How so? What kind of, are you serious? <laughs> I think it must be high on some good Y'all been drinking <laughs> fluoridated water? <laughs> Yo, Florida. Y'all been drinking fluoridated water? <laughs> Brushing your teeth with fluoridated toothpaste? Your first was here in the Do you know what fluoride is? Yeah. Where you from? Do you brush your teeth with fluoridated toothpaste? Yes. Do you know Harvard? Harvard just came out with a study and said it's a scientific fact Harvard, the university, that you know Harvard. fluoride causes brain damage and it causes your IQ to what drop. What do you think all these kids children with autism? <laughs> the bath salts <laughs> probably ain't helping either. <laughs> what do you think? Who, 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 who do you think? Oh, anyway. oh, go ahead. Go ahead. My fault. Your freshmen here. What's up? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Which part is The Bungles. Uh, like the east side. Is that near the Cincinnati the University? Uh, we're pretty close so, to it. Right, right. I used to be in that area. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much a suburb. Right? Yeah. The privileged children. Yeah. Pretty much had everything growing up. Yeah. Two Nintendos in each room. PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they had Coleco Vision. They Coleco. Oh, that's not Oh, they, 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 you see all this cake. I mean, you, like, I'm not, I don't even know if y'all know about it, but uh, Occupy Wall Street. Yeah. You, know, you know what that's all about? See, that's rich kids like you guys. Like, that losing. Have, that's losing jobs. They can't find jobs. Yeah. There ain't no jobs. So, this, right. They got but debt the future, for college. This future of this nation is. There's no jobs in this country. All, there's no factories, first of all. Right. Nothing is being built in this country. You know, the only thing we can be able to blame is y'all people. Because they're the ones that voted these politicians in years ago that knew what they were doing. Which ones? Which one was that? Which one was that? All of the politicians. All of them. All of them played a hand in this. Every the first president, the first president, the first president you know, had a part in this. How all these manufacturers, they're, 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 they've been, uh, the first they've president been, was been, the first uh, puppet. What's the word am I looking for? They've been uh, outsourced to other yeah. nations overseas. They left here in America. See, so that's what this is all about. What is all this? What's this right here? These are the, so called this is been, yeah, right, that's who they are. Ephraim. The Israelites. Characteristics. There's no such thing as Puerto Rico. characteristics. That's how we know who they are in the Bible. Their characteristics. Okay. The curses. Well, the Ephraim. And the curses. And the curses. Anyway, but let's get back to this job stuff going on. Uh, the drying was... Jeez. <laughs> hey, what's the uh, what's the what's the debt rate of, uh, of America? The debt rate? Yeah. America was just debt. Well, the economy is about to collapse totally. You familiar with the debt clock? So when you get a chance, so I know y'all got about four or five years. Uh, they probably got nice computers too. Oh, they probably got <laughs> anyway, the test screen. They got a terabyte of RAM. It's like that. Hey, you! <laughs> Fucking losers.
going crazy. Get their life, bro. You can't waste your whole life watching football. That's your fucking little children. Like, you're guaranteed to get a football's for children, man. That's absolutely. Wait, that's I, I got a question about this. Okay. How were the different tribes of Israel, the Haitians, and Dominicans before that was? They, they, those are just made up names. Okay, there's a scripture that says that the devil changes the names of people and places. Okay, that's why it says so called. Okay, as you can also read the whole sign. Well, let's read it. You can read each tribe. Judah. What, what is the same tribe that came out of? The world called Jesus? Yeah. So called American Negroes. Now, if you saw Christ walking that's around today. Jesus was an American. No, it's not, not an American. American. He was, if you saw him today, you would say he's a Negro. If you saw him walking, you would say he's a big black Negro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. The doors, these streets. That's wow. these, all these stores. All these restaurants. It's all about to be shut down. It's all about to be shut down. So, when they, when they collapse the economy, it's going to happen instantaneous all at once. You know, uh, once you, know, you, what you do, Max Kaiser said, he said, he made a prediction. He don't usually do that. He said the collapse is coming no later than April. Woo! He said it's coming. You can't stop it. And he's a financial expert. March 23rd, 2013, everyone has to be microchipped. Oh, yeah. Now, in 2013, everyone has to be microchipped. Something's going to happen before then to close the microchip. Oh, and the collapse, that's right around the corner. Right. Oh, you know the about the microchip, economy. don't you? Not just America's economy. You know what the microchip is, right? Yeah. Y'all heard of that? Implantable microchips in people? You know people get, uh, they get RFID microchips. RFID chips. RFID chips. That's radio frequency what is, what is this identification. Video? It's device. Identification device, right? Radio frequency. Yeah. So what, is, what is this video? For all the people around the world. So they can uh, learn. YouTube. Don't worry, nobody's watching it. I want to see the video. I'll just like cover it. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, you guys all know each other. How? Through the Spirit. Through the Spirit. The Lord Himself. The Most High Himself brought us all together. If you got a Twitter guy, we never even knew each other or nothing. Your sister guy. Both. I mean, you know, two different people. Are you on Twitter? Jesus is not Jesus is real. I got a real easy name to remember. It's Kings of the Earth. Kings of the Earth. Kings of the Earth. Whenever I put this up, today, tomorrow, the next day, I don't know. If, uh, I'll, I'll post it on there. All right. Kings of the Earth. Kings of Earth. Yeah, because we're taking over the planet. Not Obama. Once the economy collapses, you're going to take over the Earth. Yeah. Well, no. We're going to rule in righteousness. Well, when Christ comes, when Christ comes. If you're an issue, if you, I, I can tell you were an by your voice alone. Just your voice alone. You can tell what? You're, you're one of these. What am I? Am I not an Israelite? You might be an Edomite. Unfortunately, you do have a different spirit. <laughs> you might want to get some protein <laughs> shakes, build up some <laughs> muscles. <laughs> like, you're going to be our slave, man. Like, for example, if you're an Israelite, <laughs> if you're an Israelite and you're not, the kingdom is going to be established like this. Israel going, some Israel going to die by nuclear fire on this side and be born into the kingdom. Born into rich, born, you know, born into everything, like the law side. What the fuck is that? What is that, a fucking jet? Oh, it's just a little... Oh, a private jet. You're going to be born into shackles. That's Obama's jet. It's, it's a slave. That's the Bible. This is the Bible I'm saying talking about. If you're not an Israelite, you're going to be born into slavery. So you believe in the Bible? Okay. So you better pray to the most high. That's what I told you, see? She don't even believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Oh, yeah. Well, a lot of people, yeah. But then again, you know what? A lot of these people, a lot of the Lord's people don't even believe in the Bible anyway. Two thirds of his people. They believe in Lord Wayne. Fucking skinny dude. Okay. But anyway, only Israel believes in the most high. Right. Let me read this for you. Okay, this is a hidden Obamacare secret, RFID chip implant, mandatory for all by March 23rd, 2013. You're going to be getting five. So that means like you ain't going to be able to buy or nothing. You don't get to sell nothing. Get Might the well guillotine. They're going to they cut your head off. No more driver's license. No more drugs. You're going to be able to log onto a computer. <laughs> you're not going to be able to get on a code of bus. All your babies that are being born, they're going to be born with immediately getting chipped. 
I mean, this, this is crazy the what suit, these devils got playing for us. They, they plan on getting rid of cash. They want to go to a pure digital system. That's right. Just okay. like you're doing now with these phones, with these cell phones. Oh, you, you can, can pay. You can them. pay. They, they can tell where you are right now. You can check in on Facebook that. right here where we're uh, standing. Who's doing that? Uh, I know, isn't JC Penny using biometrics or something? JC Penny, that is JC Penny. I'm not sure yeah. if they're using biometrics to do it, but they're using some kind of uh, digital system. Right. I've been to JC Penny, so they didn't use my Facebook. Well, they, they haven't, I don't think they've started yet, but they're about to implement it. You know, I think they just. You go, you go to Kroger. I just read about it on Drudge More. You go to you know, the self checkout lanes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but don't doubt it though. You think the bomber carries on? Yeah, you ever seen that movie? Uh, Talk with cash and stuff. Check out. Well, that's the man. Don't you know there's parts of the United States like New York they don't even accept the American dollar? They yep. There's parts of places in, in New York. There are places in New York City that don't even accept the American dollar. Is it? It's just like jewelry stores. In New York, and you know where Manhattan is? Well, they have to. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, no. Hey, it's a private no, business. You do whatever no, the hell you want. You, 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 you don't tell somebody no, what no. they can do. If, if, it's it's your, your if it's your property, right, it's you do whatever business. you want. Right. If you don't want guns in your business, no guns. If you, right. Up in Michigan, they got their own currency. I got a picture of you guys. What you want to do with this? I can remember you guys. He's going to see you in the next kingdom. Actually, he will. You better be careful though, because you might get curses on that picture. Oh, Wait, are you know that? I'm serious, you might get curses on that picture. What would happen? Hey, you never know. You might be at home reading and looking at those pictures. It's a mighty death Oh, my blow. <laughs> might blow. Just fall down the stairs, break your uh, neck. I like the Native American. Most people, the, people, the, most people, the, the thing is, people think this is a joke. Which is in the Bible that people don't say this is a joke. Where does it say Guatemala and Panama? They don't say that. It's the, the people. But how do you know? How Let you me know? ask you a question. I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to put it. I'm going to break it down to you in simple terms. I'm going to break it down. Down there in South America, all those people believe in the Most High, and they believe that the one you call Christ is the Son of God. Yeah. That means they're Israelites. That makes it simple. I got a scripture for you. Revelation 13 and... No, that's my fault. Not 13, <laughs> nine. Actually, that's the spirit, though, but that's not what I wanted. The chip. Yeah, the chip. Revelation uh, 13 and 16. Yeah, I was about to read 13 and 9. And he causes all, that means everyone, both small and great. That means rich and poor. It says it. Rich and poor, free and bond. Which means free and bond, which means people in jail. Okay, we gotta go. I'll, well, well, I want to listen to the slaves rest of the scripture, but we gotta, we gotta leave. Well, listen, I'm about to tell you. Okay. It's going to cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast and the number of his name. Six, six, six. Here's the wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. That's America's a, the beast. That's a club over in Europe so that you got to have the chip just to get in. Or it is a lot of politicians. Club. And a lot of movie stars and Jay Z got the chip. Have the chip. People in Silicon Valley so have the chip. That's a popular club. That's a right here in America. You like a lot, I like a lot of tech jobs. Yeah, you you gotta have the chip. Guy. Yeah, yeah, guy. yeah, watch that fat Joe lean back. Yeah. 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 So he'll, he'll see you around in the next week. He will. No, no, we gonna see you too. Yeah, we're every day. Don't worry, we'll we'll every take day. it easy on you. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> of course, they have. Let's get a little bit of fun. Fuck, man. We got two. We got two.